Hello folks, how are you? Joe here, got Wolfie. We're back at the semi-permanent winter camp. We got here earlier today, just been hanging out. Got the fire going, it's nice and warm in here. And we experienced the most snow fleas I've ever seen in my life. These are all snow fleas falling down. We're gonna spend the night out here. I got a project or two I wanna do, but mostly it's just about relaxing with the dog. He was cooped up, haven't been out here for like five days. So uh, yeah, it's time to get out here. How to get uh, some firewood in there again. One thing I have been doing today is cutting firewood. So I'll show you my wood store and cut some more and uh, yeah, get it all organized good. I'm happy to say this video is sponsored by AG1 by Athletic Greens. AG1 is something I've always heard talked about a lot by my favorite podcasters. And it has me really excited about simplifying my daily health routine. So it's more than just a greens powder. Having 75 different ingredients including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, adaptogens, probiotics. Adaptogens? AG1 creates an environment where the gut can thrive so the body can thrive too. And this is super important to me because as a lot of you know, I've had gut issues for the longest time. But AG1 contains natural occurring enzymes that help me retain uh, the nutrients that I'm getting, finally. And the best thing for me, it's just effortless. Uh, I can be on the road, one packet equals one portion for the day, or at home, one scoop equals one portion. With eight ounces of water, you get that in you and it's good for the day. Yeah, it's like a banana fruity type thing. It smells fruity. It's definitely not bad for a green. Pretty tasty. Uh, I personally chug them down. Now, I don't have to take my probiotics, my prebiotics, anything like that for the day. <coughs> I'm all squared away. So go to athleticgreens.com slash Joe Robinette to get started on your first order. Athletic Greens is going to give my community a one-year free supply of immune-supporting vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free travel packs with your first per and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash Joe Robinette and all that info will be in the description as well. Thanks a lot guys for watching this and on to the video. the other side of my little table in the building. If I clean it over here, potentially use some of these twigs for kindling as opposed to just leaving them in the bush to rot. Which isn't a bad thing either because the forest will use that to regrow. But anyway, doesn't matter either way. Yeah, that's long enough. All right, just gonna clean it up a touch. Pretty punky, this one. But it'll serve its purpose for the winter, I'm sure. Clean it up. Got all this turkey tail on it. What is the Latin name for turkey tail? You guys remember? I'm sure I've told you countless times. Tremedes. Versicolor. Tremedes, Tremedes, Versicolor. And it looks like a turkey tail. Kelsaprise. People always ask me about puffy coats 
Or I worry to wear them in the bush and everything, doing all this stuff. Nope, I'm not. And they do get poked and ripped and stuff, but you know what the good thing is, the beauty part about it is, can't even tell where it would be. A little bit of tape, a little bit of tenacious tape, and you're all good. Joe's your uncle. Let's try to get this up here now. Not try, do. There is no try. There is only do. All right. Let's not cinch up on each other like so. And then right about there. And I'm going to bring the other side down some, which is okay. Easy enough to do. Okay, that's on there. Move them both down then. Alright. There we go there for that guy. I might even set something under here just to keep it bricked up. Like that. Okay. Cool. Now. <laughs> now we'll uh, get a piece for the middle. And call it a little table, you know? Oh, See that broken off tree there? Kind of in the middle? Well, that's its proximity to the camp. I know I can use a length of it to go in the middle uh, for the top of the table. And also I can probably use some of it for kindling and or firewood depending on how uh, far gone it is. But let's get it out of here just in case because of its proximity to the camp because of the wind and there's no need to leave it up. I was lucky the other night with how close that came. So ideally I get it as wide as this is tapering and snug it in between this and that pretty tightly, those trees. So I think the bottom part of the tree will be that size diameter. A really quick measurement tells me that uh, two of these ax lengths is the length I need. So I'm gonna, actually I need to start, mark where I start. Start right there, boom. And boom. And I'll cut that flush with the saw. And hope it fits. Might have to do some fan dangling, finagling. <laughs> All right, let's go see. Looks short. Looks short. Wolf! Good boy. There he is. He's always around, eh? He's always around, good boy. Yeah, there's no way it was going to fit in the first time. I do some little trimmings, but she'll go. Boop. One cookie. Coaster. We'll use that as a coaster. You know? <laughs> I gotta fix up this backlog for sure. But it is somewhat of a tableau, or table, just to put random-ish. And it's not uh, not even close to being level, but it's okay. I'm fine with that. Don't call me. Okay. Bam, look at that, useful already. Now when I'm out and about, just working, I don't have to try and hang anything up. See, it works great. I just toss it on here. 
You know what I mean? And I'm sure there's plenty of other things. Drinks, camera, uh, lots of stuff. I, the other day, I remember wishing I had a table here, so boom, there it is. And the rack is doing well as, as well, although it's not being very used very much today for some reason. I could, guess I could put my stuff up there just for posterity's sake, but who cares? Okay, now cut up more firewood. Start thinking about supper too. Boom, boom. No peasant life. Make some tea. Oh, we're while we're waiting to cook up our food. Oh, I guess I gotta get more firewood in there too. We got a lot of wood here, but not a lot of it is cut to length yet. Just kind of gathering it and putting it here all day. A lot of maple, some of it's marginal. Some of it's like this stuff, not so dry just yet, but again, it can dry there over the winter and or I can split it down and put it in with some good wood and it'll, it'll make a turd. It'll make a coal, it'll make an ember, you know? Get this stuff in there. Trim that up a bit. This is nice and dry. I'm throw it in the fire right now too. I'm gonna spend the next little while cutting up all this firewood that I have under here. Still needs to be cut to size. Finding a little bit more. And really putting an effort into stacking up my firewood here. Put a third log there so I can fit more. Yep, that works. Got a mix of big and small and hardwood and softwood, which is nice to have the variety. I think I gotta put more in the back here so I don't lose my space. That stuff has to be seasoned longer anyway, so it's okay being back farther away. I gotta get some more still, but it's not doing so bad. I was sure happy to have it the other night, I'll tell you that when I came out. All right, so this is just some smaller stuff. I guess I don't really need to buck it down right now, but that works. Well, I'm getting there. Something anyway. A little bit, of st little bit of storage. Oh yeah, it looks okay. Looks okay. Good boy, wolf. Wood that fell the other night. All these pieces of tree kind of fell in my outdoor fire spot. So I don't want to move them too far because I think it can burn a lot of it. Especially outdoors, it doesn't really matter. Ah, the, the quality of the wood. So maybe I'll just stack this behind the wood shel shelter for now. Maybe uh, wood storage for now. So that if I want, I can access the outdoor fire pit. Potentially burn all this stuff too, actually. Maybe I'll wait until it gets real cold and have a nice 
outdoor fire. It's gotta be boiled by now, you'd think. Oh yeah. Oh, she's rolling, bud. Set it off for a hot minute. It's getting dark. It's dark early this time of year. Well, I know it's a lot of sawing that you're seeing, but that's just the reality of it out here, right? I don't have a chainsaw. I'm not cutting down big pieces of wood for timber. I'm using wrist thick to thigh thick pieces, therefore I need to cut more, and you're still just seeing a fraction of it. Actually in the process right now of buying some land a hundred acres off grid there's a little tiny camp on it that I'll build onto and I can get deer and just be self-sustaining out there so if that's the case you'll see me doing this type of stuff a lot more but with chainsaws and four-wheelers and things like that real deal stuff not just playing around anymore but actually like improving my life improving our situation with property and food from it, cutting trees for firewood, having it as an investment for down the line, raising my kids on it, close to my house, I can store things there. And then there's bear, deer, turkey, uh, moose, uh, <laughs> bunnies, and it grows, anything you can think of. So fingers crossed folks that that happens and then the channel will take a little bit of an arc I'll still camp lots, especially in the three seasons that I camp normally, uh, but winter and fall probably be dedicated to that place, but we'll see. Anyway, I really hope we get it. It's like 90% sure, so that's cool. We're losing light here. Uh, maybe we'll get some wood split up, put it in the tent here and, uh, and close up for the night. Wolfie's KO'd. <laughs> well, that's good. Feeling good these days, folks. Feeling pretty good. I got some cedar here I brought from home that I want to split up for some kindling as well. If you remember the other day, the last time I came, I cut this down because I was afraid it was going to fall on the tent. I thought, it, excuse me, I thought it was a new break. It was not a new break. And if you look at the first video in the series, you can tell that. Regardless, I still cut it down. And I can use it for the chopping block if I can get it over there. Let's see. Oh yeah, not a problem. This is maple. It's kind of funky though. Ow, bells. Uh, yeah. Uh, ribs are feeling much better. Uh, better. Okay. Okay. Wherever it wants to sit, it's fine with me. For the morning or 
if the fire goes out. I'm gonna just split it down that much. I could baton the rest or make shavings for the rest if I really need to. This log will make life much easier. Any shavings on it, split on it. Probably sit on it too. Split on it and sit on it too. All right, this is plenty. Come on, wolf. Come on. Man, that orange really stands out. Perfect. That's what we want. I remember back in the day, tying orange pieces of paracord to uh, Scout's collar. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's a little foggy. Pretty nifty having this field here. There's another property over yonder. This guy's got a hunt camp, so I don't want to get too close to theirs. Bow season is still open, so be respectful and uh, keep on our own lane, you know. I know that's what I would want. All right, well, I'll probably uh, close the tent back down and relax for a little bit. Get back with you when I'm about to cook supper. We got a burger. I'm gonna cook a burger with some barbecue sauce and some cheese curds. And uh, Wolfie's been eating turkey all day. We got a turkey uh, off the road, or some flat meat earlier, so he's uh, he's loving that. So I've got my uh, green peppers and my garlic in here. They've been on for a hot minute, so we're gonna take them out. We're gonna throw our burger on, which is what we have for supper. Put. All the stuff in her, and then we'll throw it back on after when the burger's done. Oh, yeah! Alright, now for the piece de resistance, the cheese de resistance, the cheese curds. Should be pretty Canadian after this. Oh, she's starting to melt. Let's get some barbecue sauce up on that piece. And then we'll mash the garlic into that too. Actually, let's get the garlic in there now. Oh yeah. Mash that piece up. Ow. A little toasty, a little toasty. There we go. Beauty. Beauty. Get this back on. Let it all melt. That's going to be good. Uh, 
All right. We lost one. We lost the soldier. Let's see if we can get the soldier back. Little soldier boy. Little green soldier. thing a bite <laughs> wow wow back up mm. I've never tasted anything like this mmm So good. Damn. No joke. No joke. This is freaking delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. So much barbecue sauce and cheese and peppers. Oh my god. Mm. Oh man. If not, the best burger I've ever had, right on point. Right on point with the best one. Oh man. It's so good. Why did I just blow on that? That's not the first time either. <laughs> Great. Good boy. Good boy. There's nothing for you here anymore. So I've been putting this away. In the daytime when I'm out here, I'm bringing this back out at night so I can kind of just not get it wet and use it as a floor. Don't have to worry about stepping down onto something cold or wet, especially in the middle of the night when I have to get up and pee. So this is perfect. And uh, we'll leave it like this tonight and get, get it out of here in the morning as well. Lay down. Hey, Wolfie. All right, then just look that some more. That's fine too. See that piece of paracord I've got tied up there? Just to dry stuff out. I'm gonna do the same over here. So we'll start over here on the carabiner. Just a double overhand, it'll hold. I'm not gonna put anything too heavy up here. And then the same over here, just an overhand or a double. And then we can make things easier than using the carabiner. Dry our clothes or what have you much easier. There we go. And that way they don't have to be so close to the stove pipe. Got the tent mostly shut now. Just keeping it open a little bit for Wolfie if he wants to get in and out. You getting it? Well, I'm just going to take it easy now. I read my book for a bit and uh, I pass out pretty early. I like sleeping here. I get a really good sleep and uh, I don't have to worry about going to bed at any certain amount of time. 
I just get good sleep when I'm out here, so that's always awesome. Oh, I'm just chilling out. Not much to do. You know, my book to read here, which I'll probably do in a bit, but might as well make up some shavings like I've been doing for the morning. I got a uh, my blanket down here so I can catch them all, and then I'll put them in my in this Ziploc bag for the morning. It's a good practice to get into. I really like coming out here and just like living this life. You know what I mean? I can really see if I didn't have a family doing this permanently, but having a family cuts that off, and I'm fine. It's, I'd much rather have my girls than be by myself in the woods here, but I think um, if I do end up getting that property, I'll end up going out there for a couple, like for a month at a time or whatever, and just relaxing and cooking food I catch there and bring, bring there, and it's all on propane and everything, so I just, um, I haven't been away for a camp, like a long extended camp in a long time. Like remember I used to go on like these big long 10 day trips and stuff. And I still do in the summertime or whatever, but like I haven't really done a winter one that long in a long time. And that time of the year tends to be a downtime for me personally, like mentally. So I think that this will improve that and I'll have a spot where I want to go and improve on and just keep going to and build and stuff. So anyway, I'll hold my fingers for that. Cross my fingers. I think it'll work out. I think I'm going to get it. And I'll certainly let you folks know if I do, if and when I do. But um, anyway, that's what's on my mind quite a bit these days. Especially the way the world's going. You know, I don't want to sound like a crazy doom and gloom guy, but like having your own property doesn't seem, property doesn't seem like a bad idea. Where you can get food and potentially live and you know it's just a place just something of my own I got about two acres at home and it's nice it's just not this it's not I'm, I'm on 100 acres here and it's not mine though that's the thing I have all the access to it I want it's just not mine and uh, it's different right it's different so we'll see Let's see how she goes let's have blank in the blank tell them to open the blank I hate a blankety blank that don't even know what it blanks. You can see the glowing stove. There you go, a little bit. Anyways, it's bedtime. I'm going to bed. This guy's over here just making some crazy noises. Sometimes I wish I was Australian. Dear to the world, bud. Dear to the world, bud. Crikey. Throw another wolf on the barbie. My nan's last name was Hogan, so I think I'm almost almost there. Joe Hogan. Joe Hogan and Joe Hogan might. Well, it's about that time, folks. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna go to bed. I'll get with you in the morning. Good night. Well, we had a pretty late start this morning. 
Surprise, surprise. I spent the morning out in search of that porcupine that I showed in my last video, or a few videos ago now. The owner of the property contacted me after he watched that video, and he's like, man, Joe, if you can uh, get that, I'd like that. So we went out this morning looking, and I'm happy to say, great success. So we went by and dropped it by his place there at the beginning of the woods on this 100 acres I'm on. And uh, he was very grateful. We cleaned it up, and uh, Wolfie got some, and yeah, everybody's happy, and I'm happy to help give back. I, I do th other things and whatever, little things here and there when I can. Uh, but he doesn't like to accept things. But this he asked for, so I was very happy to get it for him. Extremely happy. Uh, I was able to find the exact same spot I found last time, way in the middle of the bush, not on the trail at all. And uh, yeah, with this guy's help, we found him. Wolfie was a little bit bummed out. He wanted some more, but Normally I'd give them most of it, but just all the quills was no good, right? So not most of the porcupine, most of whatever we catch uh, that we're not eating. So <clears throat> I'm very hungry. I brought uh, some sausages and eggs to have for, well, I guess it's brunch now. I'll make up some tea. And uh, yeah, just enjoy the, the nice day with Wolfie. I'm going to go to a um, memorial thing today for my neighbor's brother. So, we'll be doing that later on. But for now, we out you. Took it off because I knew it was gonna be hot. Woo! Not so bad, not so bad. Got one more to cook. Gave Wolfie a raw one earlier. Damn. Not too shabby. You know, I've eaten porcupine before. It's actually on a video on my channel um, called Northern, Camp Northern Michigan Winter Camping. Something along those lines. Maybe, I don't know, man. First couple years on my YouTube channel. And it was with Lone Tracker from the Hammock Forums in Bushcraft USA from the Upper Peninsula. A real, real woodsman type dude. And Ken, KGD, my old buddy and boss from Windsor. We used to do a bunch of canoe trips together as well. I got a couple of cheese curds left over from last night's uh, burger extravaganza. I might throw them in here and see what happens. Tons of residual heat. Oh yeah, in this pan. Ooh, yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Well, good morning. Very good morning. I'm very, 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 very happy about what happened this morning. Have I mentioned that? Mm, 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 mm. I barely ever have breakfast sausages. Is that a big thing? That's a big thing in England, isn't it? Beans. Is it breakfast sausages like this, or are they bigger? And what's bangers and mash? Beans and mashed potatoes? I don't know what a 
a banger is. It's a straight banger, dude. It's a straight banger, dog. Mmm. It's pretty good. This is a banger right here. These are freaking bangers and mash right here. Oh, it feels like this place is really coming together. <clears throat> I'll probably uh, make a proper sawhorse out there. And a, uh, a proper axe station as well. Tosh is coming. He's going to bring his own tent. So we're going to set it up there. And we'll, we'll have like a, a tent off. Ow. And uh, we'll, have a, we'll have a tent off and see uh, the differences and similarities and benefits and negatives of each. Because his is very similar to this. Back up now. I'm telling you, these cord keeps are sick. I don't need this up anymore because it just stretches this out too much when I'm trying to zip it shut. Had it tied up to that tree but just very loose it's not even really doing anything except for impeding my walking so what i think what i want to do is i'm going to move my chopping uh log that i got last night from over there because i think tosh wants to set up right in front and have like the awnings uh come out together like a porch which would be really cool i'd like to do that as well so in, in order for that to happen i can't be making permanent things over here so over th this side is totally fine it's out of the way and it's flat Silly. Oh boy. Well, it's a testament to the strength of it because I just tucked that tree, tucked that tree right onto it, and uh, no worse for wear, I don't think. but it's rolling and this uh, will hopefully prevent that. I'm going to split this down. Okay. There's one, I'll shave it down to make it better and I'll get two out of this, so not so bad. Oops. Those knots are pretty strong. This must be spruce. Okay. So three of them. Okay, something. Snow fleas are all back. All those black things you see are snow fleas. If you watch, they'll jump. See? Anyway, while I was over here admiring all the snow fleas, I found another rock. This one's nice and big. It's got a big flat back to it, so. 
perfect for the fire pit. Okay. Wolfie! So good rule of thumb, not that it matters with this smaller wood in diameter, but to start your notch, make your notch as wide as the wood is in diameter. And then that way by you get the way it V's out, by the way you get by the time you get to the end, it's still it hasn't narrowed out to a fact where you can't split through it. And that is soaking wet. I can tell because it's cold on my lips, freezing cold on my lips. So that's no good. But at least we were able to find that out. And now we can move it out of our way. Old poplar branch, just real rotten, real rotten, you know? Not good company. It's a bad egg. It'd be nice if and when this area gets full of snow, we have a little bit of a clear spot with nothing surprising underneath it so we can gather snow and or walk without fear of the dog poking himself or something. Like I said, I want to leave this up. I plan on doing that. Oh, tea. My tea is probably iced tea now. Lukewarm tea. Lukewarm. Well, that's all she wrote for today. I'm gonna head home and get ready to go out. Snowed a little bit last night. 